disillusionment and decay is over. I have never before witnessed a mass telepathic execution, but today the remnants of our society have displayed their disheartenment and desperation. They have judged the senior elder to be ineffectual and have terminated his appointment in the harshest manner. The gravity of our situation is extreme. Mars is incapable of sustaining life. Our efforts to maintain the biosphere are exhausted. The water tables and temperature decrease annually, as does our population. The only consequential course of action is the conquest and occupation of Earth, our young sunward neighbor. Earth is abundant with life and resources are bountiful. The environment will seem uncomfortable, but not inhibitive. The problem is, of course, the humans. They have developed primitive intelligence, yet their society is structured around perpetual conquest and conflict. A rapid offensive to their social and economic heart should prevent any significant opposition. The means and methods for this attack are already being realized. A large-scale hydrogen accelerator will be constructed. This will launch suspension pods carrying the assault forces. We have not had the need for such destructive weaponry in over 5,000 years, but modifications to our current technologies will take place and should prove adequate to defeat the inferior human defenses. Understood. 